Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Caleb Dennison. Coming up, Google bets big on Android for wearables, the NSA's amazing call recording program, and an unexpected endorsement of solar power. If you had any lingering doubts about wearable tech being the next big thing, Google's announcement yesterday of the Android Wear development program should help bury your skepticism. In a blog post, Google said Android Wear will initially focus on watches, but as time goes on, it will find its way into more and more tech that we use on the go. In a pair of videos, Googlers showed how Android Wear would work in smartwatches developed by other companies that work with Google. Android Wear will work mostly by voice command, much like Google Glass. In a related announcement, Motorola said it will be releasing a smartwatch this summer called the Moto 360 that will use Android Wear. Motorola is having success with their well-received Moto X cell phone, so the smartwatch could be another boost for the company, if it sells well. More documents from NSA leaker Edward Snowden have revealed the truly massive scope and immense capabilities of the NSA's phone call recording abilities. According to a Washington Post article, an NSA program called Mystic has the ability to record every single phone call made in a target country. We don't mean just the metadata, we're talking about the actual recording of voices in billions of phone calls. NSA agents can then go back and listen to or analyze any of those phone calls over the next 30 days, as if it had a giant telephone time machine. No wonder they used this wizard-like logo for the program. Asked about the program by a reporter, a White House spokesman said he couldn't talk about it, but he certainly didn't deny it either. The NSA says Mystic is legal and is an integral part of their system that identifies threats to national security. But still, and finally, solar power is becoming more popular. But let's face it, it's still the primary province of tree huggers and visionaries like Solar City Chairman and Tesla Wunderkind Elon Musk. But that may be about to change with the surprising announcement that investment banking firm Goldman Sachs is jumping on the photovoltaic powered bandwagon. In a new report, the often vilified money merchants say that as solar power gets increasingly cheaper to produce, it'll inevitably supplant coal and other dirty generation systems as a primary power source. So start investing now, right? Goldman Sachs also said that, yep, Elon Musk really is the primary driving force behind rising solar power adoption. Big surprise there, right? They also think that as people start using solar power and become energy independent, we could see big changes in our energy infrastructure. So this might be a good time to move your money out of utility stocks and into Tesla stocks. We hear he makes a pretty decent car as well. Well, that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.